Hello there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well. People are probably going to think I'm lazy for making this video, and not a flying video, but I really don't have the time. We have World Flight starting in just o uh, over a week, so the 1st of November, plus I have between now and then to move into my new apartment. It's a little bit hectic, and I apologise for the lack of videos. However, I decided that I would throw this together because it's something that quite a lot of you have requested and it is how to install EasyDoc in P3D version 2. Might work in version 1, not quite sure. At the moment I'm on version 2.3 which uh, the latest one is 2.4, I haven't had the time to update it, sorry. Still should work the same though. It's relatively simple. If you have it already installed for FSX and you're trying to run it alongside FSX in P3D you are going to have an incredibly easy time. If you are just solely using P3D and you need to install EasyDoc first, then the process is a little bit more complicated. However, this thing, this migration tool is your oh, wrong one. This migration tool, should I say, is your lifesaver. Uh, this is from a company called Flights in Estonia and uh, it's a relatively inexpensive bit of software and what it does is it essentially uh, creates a, what they call a virtual FSX and then that allows add-ons uh, that, that have installers that look for FSX to then find P3D instead of uh, instead of FSX. Now for uh, for EasyDoc, when you want to install it using the Flight One wrapper, etc., etc., you need to enable this first, install it, and then you can always disable it at a later date. Once you've done that and you have EasyDoc in the right in the right place, so it's usually in C program files x86 if you're 64 bit, which you should be, you will find uh, forget that this secondary exe exists, but you'll find the ezca.exe uh, in there and ready to rock and roll. Now, even if you are just solely using P3D, you still need to get the P3D compatible version of EasyDoc, which is here. I will link this below. So basically, go to this forum, grab this. It's it's there. It's on this guy's post. He's the developer, I guess. I nearly sent him a private message. That was weird. Uh, download that. And then for ease, I've extracted that exe that comes in that zip file into this folder, into local disk C, program files x86, ezca. And what I've done is I've renamed it to ezca underscore p3d.exe. Makes sense. This is now the FSX version, this is the p3d version. Once you've done that, there's only one more step to go, and that is that you need to go into your app data and then find a Lockheed Martin, wherever that is, there it is, P3DV2, and then you need to go to the exe.xml and open it, which is already open here. If you don't have one, which can happen, then just right click uh, here, make a new file or text document, whatever, and then obviously just call it exe.xml, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to make one because it'll overwrite what I already have. Um, and then what you need to do with that is fill out it with this information. So at the moment, I have uh, two things installed I have FS Dream Teams GSX, and I also have uh, EasyDoc for, uh, for P3D. And it's as simple as literally writing this bit of code, this chunk of code, so one, two, three, four, five lines inside the exe XML, as long as it's wrapped inside uh, the, the tags, I'll, I'll leave it below anyway so you can do it. Uh, and all you're doing is you're making sure that it's not disabled, which you know, you're saying it's false, you're giving it a name, which is easy knock, and then you're giving it a path, and the path is going to, he says, this exe. So ultimately, when you run ex, uh, when you run P3D, and you want to uh, use the Easy Doc, it will launch with this. Okay, that is that's really it. That's that's that simple. Um, I will mention one thing. Uh, there is an Easy Doc configurator that you have to run when you install new aircraft. 
you need this tool for that to work I have not found another way basically what you need to do is before you run the configurator you need to enable the virtual FSX environment then run the configurator then disable it again otherwise it won't find the aircraft so that is this is a must-have really there's there's no other way around it I looked and you know it's I, I hate making you you know spend unnecessary money but this is this is definitely uh, a must have and uh, I will leave the uh, the link for this below so it's a three step download the beta extract it stick it in the exe.xml jobs are good and then of course if you need to use the uh, configurator then you uh, you run this uh, F virtual fsx then do it then disable it okay we're done quick five minute video I hope you are indeed all well I have a vlog out towards the end of this week explaining what is going on and the new ventures that I am taking in life and the way the channel is going to kind of mold itself into the new year so look forward to that I'm sorry I've been a bit quiet but uh, it will all come together in the end I, I do promise you that it's very stressful but I'm enjoying it I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't okay until the next video take care guys and uh, I'll speak to you later bye bye